Hey y'all, this is John Quill. I want to read a scripture from Galatians 5 starting at chapter 13, excuse me, verse 13. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love, for the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out for you, for you will be destroyed by each other. So I say walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want but if you're led by the spirit you are not under the law the acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality impurity and debauchery idolatry and witchcraft hatred discord jealousy fits of rage selfish ambition dissensions factions and envy drunkenness orgies and the like. I warn you as I did before that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. This is a message to the world. This is how you're supposed to live. When you live like that, you will inherit the kingdom of God. God loves you, and He wants you to get there. He wants everyone to be saved. So try to walk in the ways of God, okay? Walk in holiness because that is what he called us to be. I love y'all. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.